So uh, we're going to start with Winnie the Pooh. I mean, you've got to start with Winnie the Pooh, really. He was a big revolutionary in his time. Um, he did it in a rather slow and, you know, kind of melodic way. But Pooh is definitely the way forward. And then, of course, you've got the collection of princesses down below from Pooh. Um, you know, every revolution needs a collection of princesses. Uh, pretty on the outside and, and menacing on the, on, the, on the inside. And then we move around to, um, well, basically, we've got Star Wars. Love Star Wars. I mean, if you're going to fight the dark side, you need Star Wars in your collage, definitely. Um, and then as we move along, we've got Superman, who's going to save the day. And then just above Superman, Roald Dahl, the writer of the BFG, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And uh, for some reason, Roald Dahl's got Che Guevara on his head. Again, another great revolutionary. I put a, a quote for um, Roald Dahl on the, um, on the top of the piece, which is a little nonsense now and then. He's cherished by the, right, the wisest of men. And, um, I, you know, I think that the, the whole point about this protest uh, is it's not nonsense, but it's a little bit of something different, basically. Uh, as we move over to the very corner, we've got uh, James Bond and Michael Morpogo sharing the same area. Um, again, James Bond, the fighter for truth and justice, um, uh, a justice definitely. And I feel that at the moment um, we really are being um, thrust, thrust down by the dark side of Warrington Borough Council. And as you go above that, you'll notice there's a continual theme in children's books about good versus evil. Now normally at the beginning of a book, evil is basically throwing its heavy-handed weight around, trying to really upset the good people of Lim. And uh, luckily we've got uh, J.R.R. Tolkien, Lord of the Rings, another fighter against evil. Uh, Philip Larkin over in the middle uh, with his dark materials, with uh, another image of Katniss from the Hunger Games, um, firing an arrow. And, um, a very, very powerful fem feminine uh, figure um, in, in, in the Hunger Games. I love, I love that film. I do love it. I think it's brilliant. Um, it's, you know, thank God, thank, it's thank God we've now got some female figures that are strong and powerful and, and brave uh, and that we, you know, we're not just thrust with loads of uh, men and, and boys anymore. Lewis Carroll, Alice in Wonderland. Um, I mean, this author you know, has got great associations with Warrington. So, if they're going to close the libraries, I do think they need to chop up the uh, sculpture which is um, in Golden Square. I mean, you can't have um, a, a granite sculpture to a great author if you don't have libraries. You're going to have to chop that one up, Warren to Borough Council, or otherwise you're going to be, um, you know, it, it, well, it's not, not going to be on message, really. Um, maybe you could put that in a locker. I never thought about that. Maybe you could just chop it up into little pieces. Anyway, we've got Lewis Carroll, Alice in Wonderland. Um, above, we've got, um, we've got the Jungle Book, uh, kind of the snake. Um, again, another reference to Warrington Borough Council. Uh, I've put a bit of Shakespeare in there. Um, Hamlet, the skull. Again, another reference to Warrington Borough Council. Uh, Super Mario, he likes to fight evil. Uh, again, that's a reference to Warrington Borough Council. Um, and then we've got uh, David Williams, the boy in a dress. Um, that's probably a reference to me. <laughs> And then uh, we've got Dr. Seuss, the Grinch that stole Christmas. I mean, you could just replace that with the Warrington Borough Council that stole the libraries. Um, again, um, The Secret Garden. What a wonderful book. Uh, if I could, I think I would just uh, wall off Lim and, and just we, we'll move it away. We'll, we'll, if we can, Warrington, can we go and associate ourselves with, with cultured areas like, say, I don't know, Nutsford or, um, or Tildesley? but definitely not Warrington Borough Council, because they close libraries. I, you know, what's the, this is the most stupid thing ever. Um, and then, uh, what else have we got? We've got Clive Barker, Weave World. Believe it or not, that's the first book I ever read, uh, although I didn't complete it because I'm dyslexic. But the point is, I had to put that on there. Um, and I never knew what he looked like until I found a picture of him. Spider-Man. Spider-Man obviously fights the dark side. Again, a reference to Warrington Borough Council. And then we've got Mickey Mouse now. I don't normally like to associate Mickey Mouse with the, with the fighting of a tyrannous kind of, um, you know, institution, but I've had a word of Mickey and uh, he's up for it. So again, you know, he's going to fight some uh, horrible, nasty, evil force. Again, another reference to Warrington Borough Council. Um, and finally, or not finally, um, I've put in, um, what is his name by the way? Anyway, I'll put him in. I love him. I've forgotten his name now. But uh, it's Alice in Wonderland, uh, the Mad Hatter. Um, and uh, Mad, that's a reference to Warrington Borough Council. Mad Hatter, that's a reference to me. Um, this is just the beginning, basically. Um, we're going to do a bit more. Uh, we're going to protest. We are not putting up with this. 